Ibo Bakers, no matter how much time you have, there is always enough to make a big and bold dessert. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a decadent tiramisu in just 10 minutes. Now the recipe for this dessert can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. Okay, we're going to start out in a large bowl. Okay, so our first ingredient is heavy whipping cream. Now, no matter what country you're in, use the cream that whips up the best. And then into the cream, we're going to add in a little bit of sugar just to give this a little bit of sweetness, not too much. And then of course, one of my favorite ingredients, some vanilla extract. Now, if you don't have this, feel free to leave it out, but I just think it adds a nice little kick to it. So now you can use a whisk or an electric hand mixer. And what you want to do is just whip up your cream until soft peaks form. Some cream might have sprayed around the kitchen a little bit, not just in the bowl, but that's okay. Now into this, we're gonna add in some mascarpone and that's what you put in a traditional tiramisu. If you don't have mascarpone, don't worry. You can always mix some cream cheese and sour cream together. And I'm gonna put that information on the website. So in goes the mascarpone. Now the next thing I like to add, but if you don't want to, feel free to leave it out. A splash of brandy will just elevate the flavor of this mousse and make it that much more decadent. Just a little tipple, not too much. And then we're gonna go back in with our mixer and then just whip it up together until the mascarpone and the cream have mixed up nicely. So now a traditional tiramisu has a mousse that has eggs in it, but the thing about it is that takes longer to make. So if you leave out the eggs, you can make this one, which is much faster. The good thing about it is, is that I know a lot of bold bakers out there don't actually eat eggs. So this tiramisu is probably even better for you. Okay, it does take a few minutes, but once it reaches stiff peaks and it's nice and thick, just like this, your mousse is ready to go. So now I'm just gonna set this over to the side, bring in the rest of my tiramisu accoutrement and start to build our dessert. So here I have some coffee that I made this morning and it's gone cold. Now for this recipe, you can't substitute coffee out for anything because coffee is a very important flavor in tiramisu. So what we're gonna do is take our lady fingers, give them a quick little dunk in there, turn them over, and then lay it into your dish. Just keep on going with the rest of your lady fingers. And what you want to do is just quick dunk. You don't want to leave it in there too long because they can get kind of mushy and you don't want that. Just keep on going until you've covered the base of your dish. They fit in there nice and snug. Okay, so now our next layer is our mousse. Now what you want to do is take a nice big spoonful and just scoop it on top. Now be generous with this, this is my favorite part. So don't be shy. Just cover over all your lady fingers with a nice thick layer, perfect. Okay, so now that's our second layer. The next thing to do is to repeat the lady fingers over again. So what we're gonna do is dip them in the coffee and lay them on top of this lovely cream layer. In you go, nice and neat. So now just like before, we're going to add another thin layer of mousse on top of this. And we're gonna spread it all around getting into all the corners. Now we're not doing another layer of lady fingers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the leftover mousse into a piping bag. And then I'm just going to pipe lovely little dollops of it on top. Now you don't have to do this. This is just a nice added extra, but it will just make it look so beautiful. And nobody will believe that you whipped it up in 10 minutes. Look at that, just like out of a restaurant. So you don't need a piping nozzle to do this. Just cut the end off your bag and just do little dots. And like I said, you don't want to, you don't have to, but it just gives it a lovely finish. Okay, so now this looks really good, but what's going to make it look even better is a nice dusting of cocoa powder, and that will really just finish it off. Do you see how something so simple like cocoa powder just transforms a dessert? Absolutely gorgeous. And your piping skills do not have to be spot on, which is lucky because mine aren't. So now what you want to do is pop this guy into the fridge for around an hour or two, let it chill, just let it get nice and cold and set. Tiramisu likes to hang out, relax, and let all those flavors marry together. So I'm just gonna pop him into the fridge. So our tiramisu has been in the fridge for a few hours. It's nice and cold. So now I'm going to serve myself a nice big scoop. This recipe will serve around six people, but in my house, it'll serve myself and Kevin twice. So this is my kind of dessert and I'll tell you why. It has layers. You've got the creamy mascarpone mousse, you've got the lady fingers that give you a little bit of bite and then you've got the sweet cocoa powder on top. Just absolute heaven. Mm. This is perfect for a dinner party or friends coming around. Whip it up and they will be absolutely amazed. If you enjoyed this episode, then please share it and I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.